Hi, and welcome to Thoroughgood's short web series on Tableau 8.0's new features. My name is Jessica Schmidt, and I am a U.S.-based consultant at Thoroughgood Associates. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Today I'd like to show you a new Tableau 8.0 visualization, as well as visual grouping and the new and exciting built-in forecasting tool. So right now we're looking at my business overview dashboard and it's a great visual so far. I've got a global map that shows my sales and my profits and I've also got a graph depicting my sales and profit trends. However, I'd like to make this dashboard a little more insightful and I think it'd be really helpful to view all this data by product category. So I'll have to make a filter. This way I can have more context as to what's going on with my sales and determine which group of products to really focus in on. So I'll start a new worksheet just by clicking here. So I'll start by adding category and sales. And now I'll make it a packed bubble chart, which is the new Tableau 8.0 visualization that I mentioned earlier. And I'll just select it through the show me menu up here. And there it is. And it looks pretty cool, but I think the colors are a little distracting. So I think it'll try to make it a little bit more meaningful, so I'll just drag profit onto color, and it looks pretty good. You can clearly see that telephones and communication and office machines are pretty profitable, especially when you compare it to tables, which sells roughly the same amount, but profits much less. And now I think I'll just quickly adjust the colors so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Tableau offers a ton of different color options, and I'm going to go with the orange-blue diverging. And I'll also set my center to zero so we can clearly see any negative profits. And now that's looking pretty good. But now that I'm looking at it, I think the bubbles are a little distracting, especially if I want to use it as a filter on my dashboard. So I'll just change it to text. And now we have a pretty cool word cloud. And the size of the font still represents sales and the color still indicates profit. And now I'll go ahead and add it to my dashboard, but first I'll quickly rename my sheet. And I'll also change the color of the tabs so that it matches my other tabs that also contribute to my business overview dashboard. This is a great new Tableau feature that makes working in Tableau desktop a bit more organized and something I really like because it allows me to quickly see which sheets go with which dashboard. So I'll just right click and I'll select purple under the color menu. And now I'll add it to my dashboard. And I'll do a little bit of formatting so it looks a little bit neater. And I'll quickly rearrange my enhanced data label down here so it's not hidden. And finally, I'll make it a filter by going up here and selecting Use as Filter. And now it looks pretty good. And when you think about it, this new filter up here really does add a lot of value to our dashboard. Instead of being a regular old filter that's just a boring long list of categories, it's more visually appealing and it also offers a lot more context by showing the sales and profit of each category, which is indicated by the size and the color of the text respectively. So let's click through a couple of our categories and kind of get a sense of where our data is. So if I click on binders and binder accessories, you can see that my dashboard updates appropriately and shows the correct data. So Let's look at something like tables. And immediately we can see that we have a pretty big problem here in the US. We can see that it's selling a lot, but we can see that we're losing money. We're selling at a negative profit. So let's go ahead and investigate this by going to the products dashboard. Now I can see that there are quite a few products that are below the profit line down here. This means that they're all selling at a negative profit and we are losing money. So I'd like to see how these unprofitable products are impacting my business overall. First, I'll use visual grouping to mark them as unprofitable so that they stand out. All I have to do is use my mouse to capture all of them, and then use the paperclip icon to group them. You can see my chart has automatically updated and it's highlighted my unprofitable products by coloring them blue and then coloring my profitable products up here gray. So I can see them quite clearly now, but I still don't understand how it's impacting my business and my sales trend. And I really think that's where I'm going to get most of the value here, identifying which products are unprofitable and how they're making up my sales. So now I'll go to my sales trend worksheet and see what we can do. 
So the great thing about grouping is I can now use the group as I did mention, and you can see it right here. So I'll just grab it and I'll put it on the color. And now you can see the breakdown. However, I still want to see my profits at a total level, so I'll quickly go into that marks card and remove it. And I think I'll also do some quick formatting. I'll just make this a lighter color, and I'll also rename this so I remember what it is in the future. And now it's looking pretty good. And now that I'm looking at it, I see something very interesting. I see here in July of 2013, its sales are so much higher than the previous period of June of 2013. And at the same time, its profits are much lower than the profits of June 2013. And it's apparent why. It's because I sold a tremendous amount of unprofitable products in July that I didn't sell in June. So even though my sales are so much greater in July, I'm still losing money because I'm selling a ton of these unprofitable products. And that right there is an actionable insight. I now know that if I can make these specific products more profitable, it'll easily increase my profits because they're already selling at a very high level. Now, if I wanted some insight on how this is going to impact my sales and my profit in the future if we continue on the same course of business, I could use Tableau 8.0's new and exciting built-in forecasting tool. All I have to do is right click and select show forecast. And now I can see a forecast for the next 12 months. And the interesting thing is if I select all these points down here, I can quickly see that I'm expected to lose nearly $61,000 in seven of the next 12 months. And that's a pretty significant finding, especially as I was able to discover that in just a few clicks in Tableau. This forecasting tool is all included in Tableau's automatic capabilities. I didn't have to set up a thing. However, there are some ways to customize your forecasting if you'd like, and you can do so by right-clicking and going into the forecast options. Here you can do things like change the forecast length, the type of aggregation, and even the type of model you'd like to use, and Tableau offers a number of different models, and you can learn about each one of them by clicking on this link here. You can also look at details for your overall forecast by going into Describe Forecast. And this will bring up all of the relevant details of your specific forecast and your specific model. So overall, forecasting in Tableau is really quick and really easy to do. I don't know very many other products that make it as convenient as it is in Tableau. And now to recap. Through visual grouping and forecasting, I've just shown you how quickly I can quantify the impact of my company's unprofitable products on our sales and on our profits now and into the future. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit our website at thoroughgood.com or email me at jessica.schmidt at thoroughgood.com. Thanks.